All right, let's try another pattern today at pattern-collections.com. Oops, I left my light on. I need to turn that off so you guys can see. Sorry about that. Let's go to, oh, let's turn that off. Go down to Pattern Focus to find today's pattern at pattern-collections.com. Make sure you put the dash in there. You go to the wrong place. Wooly Zen Ball. We've done this one before too. It's one of our um, beginner patterns, I believe. This one is by Ina Sonemoser. And does it show more? No. Okay. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it shows samples of others. So this is going to be really fun. Sort of like the urchin one that we just did. Um, it's you start with a circle, and then inside the circle, you're going to make these little crescents, and you're going to make five of them one, two, three, four, five. And then coming from that, you're going to follow this curve around and make a, a line all the way around like that. And then you're just going to aura that line. And it looks like a ball of wool. Thus the woolly zen ball. Right? A little bit of shading. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Love it. Love it. Love it. This one is by Ina Sona Moser. Easy, easy, easy one to do. Um, now I can turn my light back on. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate that string. But I'm going to leave it there for a moment. Perhaps I can incorporate it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just thought of something. I can do that. Okay. So I'm going to make, I'm actually going to make a border. Don't always make a border. Today I'm making a border. A nice kind of swoopy, fun border like that. Zoom in. I'm going to use this, this angle on this triangle and I'm going to come around like that for my ball. And this will be like a bit of yarn coming into my Zen ball. One, two, three, four, and five, like that. Kind of looks like the inside of a donut. And I may bring this a little bit more around like that. And then pick one of these curves and follow that along. And then do that all the way around. Like that. And then just aura that or echo it. You decide whether you are calling it an aura or an echo. Like that. Do to do to do, do. Sorry if you hear the noise of the construction next door. There's nothing I can do about that. They are going to be what they are going to be. Don't know what they're doing today, but they're really noisy.
get into that Zen zone with these repetitive lines. Absolutely, you can get in that zone. That's really great. You'll notice that my lines are not staying exactly going in the same direction on all of them. That's okay. See, cool, isn't it? And then I think I want... Another one coming in this way. that that way that way it'll go this way You see what I'm doing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I was just afraid I was going out of screen again. I tend to do that and I apologize. Okay. What time is it? Checking my time. Gotta go to work today, so just check and make sure I don't draw so long that I forget to go to work. I do have my alarm on, but I have this sneaking suspicion that I set my alarm for the three o'clock uh, shift and not the two o'clock shift. So I need to check that. But I've got plenty of time. So I'm not gonna stress over time. Just like that. I like this one better. I did a better job with this one than that one. Don't know why. I just I just followed the curve better with this one. So that's okay. It is what it is, right? And I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna have some lines following this curve. And then I think I want one more somewhere. Um, maybe just right in here. Let me do it with my pencil so I get a kind of a roundy shape. You won't see some of it. It'll be behind. I like that. way that way that way and this way
like that. That and this one will come. You won't see it's coming this way, it's coming this way, it's coming this way. Like that. All right. I'm good with that. How about you? You guys good with that? I think it needs some more circles or something somewhere or something. It needs something else, but I'm not sure what. Lines? That was too wide. Something like that. Do I want to do more? There we go. That works. It needed something. I don't know why it needed something, but it did. Um, this is Zen Ball. Right? Oh. It's Wooly Zen Ball. Wooly Zen Ball. String number 47. And a little bit of shading. Give this puppy some dimension. Go right in here. And do, do where they overlap. are here and here and here and here and here a little bit like that and then for sure over here there's a lot right happening right in here this is just going to be kind of dark because there's an overlap there and there's an overlap there a little bit here
and for sure in there and then here and here and here and here and here and here okay did I get them all I think so get my blending stump This is going to be it for today. I will have gotten enough drawing done today that I don't have to draw tomorrow. I can wait till Wednesday, get the rest of it completed, get ready for my weekend away. All right, let's see. Anything else that I need? I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. So, there is some woolly Zen Ball. That is an easy one. You know it's easy when it went fast, right? And, um, yeah. You guys have a great day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Give them some Zen. Give them a hug. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.